Okay, back again with another Sony Vegas editing tip. This time working with proxy files. And the reason we want to do that is sometimes we get some very chunky files that won't play smoothly while you're cutting and it makes things a little difficult to work with. GoPro is like this, some of their high bitrate files and some of the DJI drone files from their own cameras are like that as well. So with Vegas you can very quickly and easily convert the files you're going to work on into proxies and your entire edit will be done with those proxies. All the effects and everything you do to those clips will be done to those proxy files and when you render the finished product at the end it swaps them out for all the high res stuff. The one important thing to remember after you've dragged your files into into your media box to convert them to um, proxies has to be done before you do any other editing otherwise it won't work. Just select all your files right click and you'll find create video proxy. Just click on it and the little window tells you what's happening down the bottom of the screen here you'll see a progress bar and they are in effect rendering to a smaller proxy file. And now is when you're going to get a coffee and sit and wait but it's worth the wait because your workflow is going to be a whole lot easier. As it sets finishing off building your proxy files you can now work on these a lot smoother without any dramas. And the cutting becomes a whole lot easier. As a result, your playback window will now be nice and smooth. No jumping around in here, apart from the shaky footage, which we'll deal with in the next clip. We're going to do some stabilization. That's proxy files. Well worth using, especially if you've got a lot of video layers, multi-camera shoots and with all of your main footage you've thrown in a bit of GoPro footage or footage from a drone uh, those things can sometimes make your timeline labour pretty well so this this lightens the load and makes it all work nice and easily. This time video stabilisation. We've all done it, we've grabbed the camera when there's a shot available and no sticks handy and next thing We've got a clip like this handheld where it's a nice clip but it's shaky. Got to fix it. Quite easy in Sony Vegas. It's not an After Effects quality tool but it's not bad. I'll just copy this one here and duplicate it so that we can see a before and after. And there's a couple of ways to access the tool to do this. One is up here from Tools, Video, Media Effects. And not video event effects, it's got to be media effects, it applies in different ways. So you can do it from there, or you can just do it from down here on the clip, right click, and once again, media effects, not video effects, it's got to be media effects. Now, there's where you'll find it, we're looking for Sony Stabilize. Add that to our tree, and it's got some presets here which is a good place to start. This one's moderately bad so you've got light medium and heavy to choose from I'd probably dive into medium here because it's not a very good clip haven't applied it yet you've actually got to hit the apply button to do this you can also tune the effect here apply and what it's doing is doing a, a background render of that one clip and the end result speaks for itself it's very smooth there and that was a very basic look at what you can do with stabilization in Sony Vegas. Thanks for watching.